everyone, we have some big news! You're finally leaving, Jackson? What? No! But, me and Jackson have been talking, and it's official! We're moving! Woohoo! Wow, for real? I'm glad you're so happy for us, Abby! Yes, that's why I'm happy. But yeah, we just signed a lease on an apartment and we're moving out in a few weeks! That's so soon! Where are you moving to? Boston, Massachusetts! What? Oh, I just assumed you were moving downtown or something. This day just gets better and better! Yep, school's starting back up soon and Jackson will finally be going to Harvard after he deferred last year. I figured it would be a good time for a change, so I'm moving up with him. Well, that's really exciting, you guys. Congrats! Well, not to make this all about me, but Jackson and Frankie won't be the only ones moving out soon. What? Yeah, I finally saved up enough and I'm moving into my own place next week. I'm gonna take some classes at the community college, and I figured sharing a house with seven other people wasn't ideal. But I feel like you just moved in with us! Sorry, I need another change, and after living with my giant family and then moving in with all of you guys, I just feel ready to live by myself for once. Wow, Claudine, that's great! Good luck with classes and stuff! Thanks! Well, I am gonna make this about me! Oh, please tell me you're moving out too! Um, no. You can't get rid of me that easily, Abby. Ugh, I knew things were going too smooth. But I did get a new job! I'm starting as a fashion stylist for Toom Ford! Yep, THE Toom Ford. Basically, my job is to be a trendsetter. So you kinda got a job as a fashion police. That's very fitting. How did Heath get an actual job? Wait, how is Heath gonna survive an actual job? I miss my luxurious life and my million dollar mansion! And I guess if the only way I can get that back is by working, I suppose I need a job. Luckily, Toom Ford was super impressed with my extensive fashion knowledge. Whoa, is Heath maturing? Well, as much as someone like him can really mature anyway. Well, I'll take whatever I can get if it means you'll be out of the house for a few hours a day. This is so exciting! All of us are getting new jobs, moving, and starting school! Well, not all of us. I have a feeling this year is gonna be great. We could all use a little change, right? Right. Abby, what's up, Shawty? What are you doing here? I just came to tell you the good news, but uh, what did I walk into? Don't tell me you're getting evicted again. Not quite. Well, technically my landlord is kicking me out. I mean, what does he expect? Me to pay rent every single month? That's a bit much if you ask me. That's typically how renting a place works, but okay. But this time I'm actually okay with being kicked out of this place. I'm kind of moving. What? You're moving too? When did everyone decide to just up and leave all at once? Yo, what do you mean? Who else is leaving? Well, that's what I came here to tell you. Frankie and Jackson are moving up to Boston, where Jackson's going to college, and Heath got a job that's gonna get him out of the house more. I thought I'd celebrate a bit. But now you're moving too, and a bunch of my other roommates are starting school soon. I'm not sure how to feel anymore. Whoa, that's Cray to the Z! I'll totally miss you guys, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't stoked about this new opportunity. So where are you headed? Well, I got hooked up with a dope new job, so I'm gonna be traveling the whole world! It's a super amazing company. They're paying for my new place and travel expenses. Huh, that sounds like a big deal. What kind of job is it? Get this! I'm gonna be a DJ for Carnival Cruise Lines! You're a cruise ship DJ? Yup, pretty sick, right? It's the perfect job for me! I'm gonna DJ the parties they have on the cruises and get to go on free trips. Abby, I think this is gonna be my big break. Okay, Holt, you have fun with that. Oh, I will! So, when do you leave? Well, my new gig doesn't start until next week, but my landlord wants me out by, uh, yesterday. So me and Deuce are gonna be living out of my car until I embark on my first cruise. But wait, it gets even better. I get a major discount for cruise ship tickets since I work there now, so Deuce is gonna be tagging along with me for a few weeks. Woo! Me and my homie are gonna get to see the world together. Epic, right? Well, well, it will be weird without you here. I can't sell miss your annoying music or this disgusting apartment, though. Hey, have some respect for the bachelor pad! And don't worry, I'll totally visit all the time. After my SoundCloud page finally blows up, maybe I'll pay for a mega vacation for all of us. How does that sound? Alrighty then, Holt. See you around. Hey guys! What's up? Well, me and Dexter have been thinking... Oh no, you're not leaving me too, are you? Well... Yeah, we're getting our own place. What? Raven, you can't do this to me! How am I gonna survive living with Heath without you? I can't put up with his insanity by myself! I know, I'm sorry. We had a long talk the other day, and with so many of us moving on and moving out, we thought it would be the right time for us to do the same. We can't have a million other roommates forever, after all. Plus, you'll have Cerise. You two will have Heath outnumbered, at least. 
Well, actually... Oh, come on! I haven't told anyone yet, but I'm going back to school next month, too. Wait, for real? Yeah, I applied last minute and got accepted into a college in the city. It's only about an hour away, but I'll be living on campus, so... yeah. So was no one gonna tell me ahead of time that they were all gonna abandon me this year? Ugh! Well, congratulations, Sirius. Same to you guys. Getting an apartment together is a pretty big deal. Yeah, we can't wait. Neither of us are going to school this fall, so it felt like the perfect time to get a real grown-up place finally. It's gonna be a great year! Hey, Abby. Is something wrong? Ugh, I don't want to talk to you about it. Oh, come on. You can tell me anything. I'm a good listener. Jackson pretty much trusts me with all of his darkest secrets. Well, Jackson probably needs to see a specialist. Oh, he already does. So, is this maybe about the fact that everyone's moving out so suddenly? Well, duh. I didn't realize everyone had big plans this year. Especially plans that involved leaving me alone here at the house. With Heath! But it's so exciting! Everyone's growing up and moving on. We can't all stay here in this house forever. Well, it kind of seemed like we would stay here forever. Now it looks like only I'll be stuck here. Maybe that's not a bad thing. Well, all of you guys who are doing exciting things are going back to school. I have no plans at all. I didn't think everyone would up and leave me so quickly. It's okay to not have any plans yet, Abby. You have plenty of time to figure out what you want to do with your life. None of us really know what we're doing after all. Well, I didn't think I'd have to figure it out by myself. You are by yourself, though. We'll always be there for you, even if we're not your roommates anymore. Hmm, Frankie, maybe you're not as dumb as I always thought you were. Thanks? You guys, I have major news! Ooh, what happened, Heath? So you know how I got a job for Tomb Ford, right? Well, it just got even better! I was just told that they want to transfer me to their headquarters in Paris freaking France! Whoa, France? Does that mean you're moving? Yep, I met the director for the Tomb Ford fashion department in person for the first time earlier today, and I guess after they heard me start talking, they thought I'd be a better fit in a different country where I can't speak the language there. I'm choosing not to be offended by that, and instead get excited about them paying for my move to France! <laughs> I'm finally gonna get my lavish lifestyle back and leave all of you suckers behind! Well, things are looking up for me already. Not having to share a house with Heath all year is already making me feel better. Except, now I'm gonna have an entire house to look after by myself. I think some independence and responsibility will be good for you, Abby. And Heath, that's so awesome! You'll fit right in in France. Tell me about it! Time to go buy some berets online! I have to say, I never thought I'd live to see the day you two finally moved out. Jackson becoming independent? What is this? Well, he still has Frankie with him. We're so excited for a fresh start! Boston is gonna be so amazing! And I can't wait to finally start classes at my dream school! I can't believe we're not gonna live down the street from each other anymore! What am I gonna do without you? Who will I invite to my weekly slumber parties? Who will I trade Pokemon cards with and battle in Fortnite? I know, Gil. I'm sad, too. You've been the greatest BFF a guy could ask for. I don't think Harvard is gonna have people as awesome as you. Yeah, that's a good thing. Promise you'll come visit me, bro? I definitely will. And once I get settled into my dorm, I can be the one to host slumber parties. You're always welcome at my place. I thought you were going to college this year, too, Gil. Well, I am, but I've decided to stick to online classes this semester. With my massive book collection to take care of, I thought it would be best for me to stay at home for now. Or at least until I can find a trained professional to help watch over my collection. Hey, Abby! But this means you won't be all by yourself this year. You'll have Gil who lives just a few minutes down the road. Oh yeah, I'm always down to hang out with new friends. If you ever wanted to come over and play with my pet cockroaches, Abby, you're free to make yourself at home anytime. Yeah, I'll be passing on that, thanks. Well, we'd better head out. We've got a long trip ahead of us. Thank you guys for being such amazing rubies over the past few years. It's gonna be so hard getting used to everyday life without all of you around being your interesting selves. Bye guys, we'll visit soon! Wow, I guess it's official. Bye you guys! Have a safe trip! Bye, we love you all! All right, sayonara suckers! Heath Burns is off to France, baby! Woo! Let's hope this time you stay gone. Yeah, you really gave me false hope last year when you bought that ridiculous mansion and then went bankrupt a few months later. Let's not let that happen again, okay? Oh, it won't! Tomb Ford is covering my entire move, and this time I'll have a job to pay for my lavish lifestyle. My trust fund was starting to get a little too low for my liking. And if I have to have a job, it might as well be something I'm the best at. Well, goodbye for good. Oh, don't worry, Abby. I'll visit sometimes. I know you're secretly gonna miss me. Hmm, I wouldn't flatter yourself. 
Well, I rearranged my room downstairs into a guest room specifically for me when I come back in town, so I'm expecting it to stay that way. That means no parties or fight rings in my room, you hear me? Well, now that Holt's sailing overseas as a DJ, I don't think you have to worry about parties. Fight rings, however... I mean it, Abby! Now I have a flight to catch. Paris awaits me! Goodbye, Heath. Jeez, her number of roommates is dwindling down by each day. I'm gonna miss you guys so much at school. I'm not sure how I'm gonna survive classes without Abby to help me cheat off of everyone. It's okay, Cerise. I've prepared you well. I'm confident you can cheat even without my help now. Well, let's hope so. I'll miss you too, Cerise. Good luck with college. You were always the smartest out of us anyway. And Claudine, you're gonna do great too. Thanks, Raven. And thanks for all of you guys for being so welcoming to me. I know we haven't lived together for super long, but you guys have been pretty good roommates in the grand scheme of things. It's definitely been an entertaining year, that's for sure. But it's time I finally get my own place for once. You better come visit me. I will for sure. I won't be that far anyway. And I'll make sure to keep you guys in the loop about college life. Abby, I'll know to hit you up once I find out where all the best parties are. You get me, Cerise. Have fun. Bye, you guys. Love you all, and have a good move, Raven. I hope you and Dexter have a great time in your new place. Bye, Cerise. And bye, everyone. I promise I'll stay in touch. Bye! Well, I guess this is it. Ugh, this is terrible! I'm feeling a new emotion I've never felt before. Ugh, what is this? Uh, sadness? No, I don't get sad. I'm choosing to be angry instead. How dare you guys leave me here? Oh, come on, Abby. You know you don't need us. You're gonna do some major things, even if you have no clue what they might be yet. Yeah, yeah, I know. It doesn't mean you need to ditch me. Hey, we'll just be a 10-minute drive away. Yeah, we'll visit all the time. And of course you're free to come over to our place, too. Just think, Abby. This year is gonna be great for all of us. We're growing up, and you've got the entire house to yourself. No Heath, no Jackson. This is what you've always wanted. That's true. I guess I just never expected to miss you guys so much. I'm gonna miss you, too, Abby. There's no one quite like you. That's for sure. Well, you two had better get out of here before my rage turns back into sadness. Bye, Abby. Don't turn the entire house into a fight club now that we're gone. I won't make any promises. Nah, I'm kidding. We'll limit the fighting to the basement. Goodbye, you guys. And then there was one. Oh, I'm gonna go make a frozen pizza, eat the entire thing, and not clean up my mess in the kitchen. And now there won't be a Heath to scream at me for it. Hmm, maybe this year will be promising after all. They'll be calling me, calling me They'll be calling me royalty Best to give me